Hello, my name is Gabby Hernandez and I'm the Open Education Librarian at the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. In this session, I'm going to show you a program tracking template I created that can help you organize and track your program's impact, programming, and engagement. I use this tool every day to help me organize my data and keep track of what's what. Before we begin looking at the template, I want to provide you a little background in hopes you can relate to how this template came about. At UTRGV, we have the Textbook Affordability Project. Our program grew from a conversation between a faculty member and the dean of the library to a full-blown library department in just a few short years. Our programming, outreach, engagement, and funding began rapidly expanding, which meant so did our data. We had data from three people in three different formats, and we were constantly trying to figure out who had what and in which format. I really wanted a CRM to help me track not only faculty engagement, but our funding and impact, as well as our processes. Airtable was being discussed in the Open Education Listservs, so I set aside a week, watched two webinars, and got to work on building my database. My goal was to compile the data we already had and create a way to track faculty engagement over time. From here on out, I'll be sharing my screen and showing you how to use the textbook affordability tracking template. I could talk for hours about this topic, but since we're only scheduled for 10 minutes, I'm going to talk more about the structure of the template and how it can relate to your needs. I will not have the time to talk about how to use Airtable itself, but fear not. In the community document, I have links to the two webinars that got me started, as well as a sign up page for those of you who are interested in further discussions, deeper dives, and the ability to learn from one another. Airtable itself is a platform that gives you the flexibility to create what you need in a way that works best for you. I like to think of it as spreadsheets that are connected to all the other spreadsheets we create. Airtable also comes in a variety of price ranges, and I have created a template for you and all of the functions and features within the template work within the free version. So let's talk a little bit about what this can do for you. First, I have the contacts tab. This tab keeps all of your contacts organized in a simple view. You can input a name, email, department, college, as well as track their initial and continuous engagement with your program. This is very helpful when trying to track how the members of your community are engaging with your program. On the side, you can view this information in different ways, such as grouped by college or by point of contact. Once a field is updated, you can see these change reflected automatically in the entire template. You can also update the information from any location, and this will also be automatically reflected in every tab. To add a new contact, you just click on the Add button, and begin typing the information. You can feel free to update the headings, fields, and uploaded selections in this template at any time. You can modify it to fit your own unique needs. Just double click the heading and you'll see all of the options to edit. Grant A. This tab mimics an adoption or creation grant that collects student enrollment data and has a cost savings aspect. You can input data here or look at the side and click on grouped by semester to look at each grant cohort. As you can see here in the pretend data, I have five faculty who engaged in this grant, three who have finished, and two who have dropped. If you keep scrolling, you can see how much each textbook costs for that course, the number of students enrolled, and the projected savings. To add more faculty to this grant, you simply begin typing a name in the name field and every person you have inputted in the contacts tab will appear here. You can choose from this list or add a new contact. If you add a new contact from here, you can update their profile by clicking on their name and inputting the information that's necessary. If you look on the side, you will see grant status. This allows you to update their status simply by dragging their names to the current place they are in the grant process. Again, you will see this information updated everywhere in the database. If you go back to the group by semester page, along the top of each cohort, you can see the total of each column, which will provide you with a quick look at the grants information. 
along the bottom, you will see totals. This is the total of the entire grant impact. Grant B. This tab mimics a grant that does not have a cost savings aspect. This could be a professional development grant where all you have is survey information. Like using Google Sheets or Excel, you can easily copy and paste this information into the tab. All you do is click and paste. As previously mentioned, anything you update will automatically reflect in every place. All the new names added here will also show in the main contacts tab. OER requests. The OER requests tab allows you to keep all of your OER requests in one place, but also have them connect to the profile of the faculty you have in the contacts tab. Again, all of your contacts will be here, and to add one, you just click and start typing in the name in the name section. You can fill out as much or as little information as you deem necessary. This is simply the information I use. This template is set up to also allow you to upload documents straight into a field. You can drag and drop files or click the plus sign and add the files you would like to upload. Here is where I upload all of my OER requests to keep them in one spot. Grant Overview. The Grant Overview tab allows you to see a bird's eye view of your impact. At the end of the semester, I take some time to update this grants tab with the applicants and grantees for each grant, as well as impact data, which includes the investment and ROI. This data can be easily gathered using the automatic totals of each cohort I showed you earlier. Outreach Overview. The same can be done with the Outreach Overview tab, which can track the titles and types of outreach you are performing at your institution. You can track registration as well as participant numbers. There's even space to upload chats and feedback information if it was provided for each session. This is a lot of information, but using Airtable has been instrumental in ensuring I can easily keep track of all the information that is usually asked from open education practitioners. This template can also be edited to fit your unique program needs. To find this template, you can use the link in the community document or search the Airtable universe and type in textbook affordability tracking. In a little over a year from the creation of this first database, I now have over 630 contact fields, which has helped me show various stakeholders the impact of our textbook affordability project. If you want to continue the conversation, please feel free to add your name to the community document. Thank you so much for your time.